All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to go ahead and get started on our base. I think it's perfectly time and it's we're ready to get the base started. So I hope you all enjoy this awesome time lapse. And here we go. I get lost inside my thoughts and when I start to think all the time, how close it starts to end up on the break. I tried so hard, but all these scars, they cut so deep, I bleed. I fell so fast from heaven, it's like someone clipped my wings. Now I'm falling, and I can't see the ground. Can we stop this gravity? It keeps bringing me down. I can't.
So some time has passed since I've actually done the whole time lapse and we've worked on the base. As you can see down there, there seems to be, oh, phantoms. We're gonna hop down here. <laughs> so this is how we get into our base, guys. Let's go ahead and throw our armor on. We have got some OP as heck armor. We have all the perfect tools and let's go check out this base together. I am so satisfied with how this is coming along. Uh, those end rods aren't going to be staying there. But guys, this is going to be... Don't look at that on the left. This is going to be our... The way we get our conduit thing a bobber. Yeah, so if you see, if we come out here, we have the conduit effect. Conduit power. Cool. And I'm actually thinking about putting this in the ground and just having a little window into it. I don't know what we're going to do. Let me know down in the comment section if you want me to leave it here or put it down on the ground to make the, the base feel a little bit bigger. Uh, so in each one of these corners, we're going to have a storage areas, go or areas, not storage areas, but areas going down uh, with some steps. They're going to go into like a little room where we're going to have different areas. So over here, I was thinking about maybe putting all of our automatic farms. Over here, maybe I was doing like a potion brewing system. And then over here, we were going to do like all of our animals and stuff like that. So uh, let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments, what we should do in each of the quadrants. Uh, so we have three left. Let me know what you want to do in each one of them. I think it'd be pretty cool. But the one that I've been working on... Why we don't have four is the storage room. Now it is almost completely done, but I want to show you guys now because I'm very proud of this. And here we go. So this is Super Turtle Storage for Season 3 on Lionheart. Yes. We got shulker boxes in the corners. That one has some stuff in it from my NCD raid. But this is what we're doing, guys. I've got these all sorted out. The only two chests that aren't sorted out that I'm using basically for bulk are these two here. We're going to end up sorting these in a little bit when I get more chests. But, guys, we have the, the speed stone slabs here to give us the speed two. Uh, we have all of our armor and stuff like that. We're going to replace the gold. We're going to move the diamond over where the gold is, and then we're going to put the nether right here when it updates. We've even got leather armor that we're going to have here just in case for some special events going on got all of our diamond horse armor gold horse armor iron horse armor and there's even leather horse armor i totally forgot about that we've got some saddles up here we're gonna put some leads and stuff like that down there maybe some name tags we got our wood tools our stone tools iron tools that we still need to finish up we need our gold tools again we're gonna be moving those over and we're gonna be having the netherite on this end here and this end there over here, I'm pretty sure we're going to make this all of our plants and stuff like that, like the kelp and all of that. But we need to finish it up with some chests. we got a squid head up there. looks great. Over there, we have a polar bear head. Don't ask me how I got it. Over here, we have a wandering trader head. Don't ask me how I got it. And then over here, we have an elder guardian head that I accidentally got because I got really mad at an elder guardian when I was trying to get these sea lanterns that kept, killing, or kept trying to kill me, so I beat him up, and I got his head. So we're going to be doing that in another episode, getting some more of those, maybe. Uh, we have our book over here. We have a bunch of mending. We've been buying clutches, books that we will be going over to spawn here in a little bit. we got an anvil, an ender chest, and a uh, crafting table over here. We're going to repeat this in every single corner, uh, every single section over here. And then if we come up here, this is the side that's almost completely done. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this wall. Uh, but this side over here, we have our lecterns over here with books in them. Uh, very cool little sections with bookshelves in the wall with some storage in the back here. Over here, we have our auto smelting things where we throw stuff up here and put we get the stuff out. We got a barrel in here for all the coal that we need. We're going to repeat this on the other side over there. Uh, that one, we just didn't put the bookshelves into it, so I will finish that off camera sometime else. Back here, we have my favorite looking enchanting setup. We even got our first wither skull over there I got accidentally. I was exploring the end for some nether wart, or not the end, but the nether for nether warts. I found a skeleton. I sliced him up with my sword, and he decided to give us his head. It was amazing. So, yeah, this is looking great, isn't it, peoples? Oh, man, and then look at this. It's all curved up top. Oh, I just love this look. I think, whoa, 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 whoa sorry. Makes it perfect. And then we got our quartz tea over there. That just fits ever so perfectly. There's no spawnable spaces here down on these two. There might be some up there on, on the second floor that we're going to go ahead and have to fix later on. But this is the storage room for Season 3, guys, and I'm loving it. Now, in the corners of our base over here, as you can see, we have this extending out. There's actually a fish farm over there that we are going to extend out to, just like we have over here on this guy. But we're not going to have a fish farm over there. I don't know what base thing we're going to have over here. We're going to have one of these expanding on each corner, and this is going to be the entrance into our base. At the very top of this guy, I do plan on putting like a small house, maybe like a little cabin, that just has like a secret door that gets us into our base, because I think that would be awesome. So, yep, this is it. There's Butcher's Base over there. Uh, Nergath's Base is kind of over there. But I think it is 
it is proper time for us to go head over to Spawn and see what we've been doing over there. All right, so we are here at Spawn, and this is our base here, or not our base, but our shop here. We've made a few sales. Uh, I did leave Narragath his diamonds and Butcher, too. Uh, but yeah, we're selling them for three stack, for three diamonds per stack of bone meal. I think we might end up bringing that down a little bit. But we made a few diamonds off of this place. I'm loving it. Still loving it. We put our wallet here. And let's see here. We're going to go ahead. We're going to grab some of these diamond blocks. We're out of diamonds, actually. So we're going to really need to focus on getting some more. I'll do that off camera. But uh, there's a, a, a loot box system that we have here. And I think we're going to go ahead and use our last two diamond blocks. I'm going to go mining later on today. And we're going to see what we get. So let me show... Oh, wow. He's improved it. Okay. Throw diamond at carpet. Okay. So one diamond block for one shulker or one uh, loot box. So this is Clutch's shop. It is amazing. He sells by far the best items right now. Like, look at this. Depth Strider for one diamond. Very amazing. You want Fortune 3? One diamond. You want protection for one diamond. He sells all these books here for one diamond. Mending, one diamond. We should just light it up. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to see what our luck is today. We're going to throw this in here. And we got a shulker box. Now let's see. Let's put it down. And we got a bunch of fireworks. And we got a block of diamond back. Cool. So we can get another one. We're going to throw it down. We're going to get this. We're going to put it here. Ah, we didn't get anything in that loot box. But we did get a shulker box, so that's good. Now our last one. I guess didn't want to go. Last one, bidding. All right, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? And ooh, we got another diamond block. Let's do it, dude. Um, do we have a crafting table in here? Oh yes, we do. We do. We do. Cool. Let's go here. Only the craftable items. Here we go. All right, and our last one. How do we do? Unbreaking three and redeem a book from Clutch. Fifteen minute mining trip. And another, we got two books from him. Sweet. So let's make sure all these are empty. They are. Grab some more fireworks. I love fireworks. When he starts selling the fireworks, I will go ahead and buy them. We need to be able to make, be self-sufficient though. So we're going to be working on a gunpowder and a sugarcane farm here really soon. But guys, that is it for episode four of Lionheart season three. I hope you guys did enjoy. We have a cute, we have some really cool shops going on here. This is like a redstone consulting shop. That's Liam's enchanting shop. We got, I think this is Darth's uh, shop. Oh, look at that. Oh, you can kind of see it over when I do this. That is uh, Mad Dog's slime shop. I went ahead and bought some stuff from him later on. But this is really cool. We have, are these guys named Jeb? I think they are, whoever they are. I forget. But yeah, he sells some carpets here. Now it's one diamond for. Or three golden ingots for a stack of wool. Uh, so you put the diamonds in here. We obviously are completely out. I bought a whole bunch of shulker boxes from Clutch a few episodes or a few nights ago. So that's why I don't have any diamonds anymore. So I gotta go mining because I want to get at least two or three sets of backup armor for ourselves because I tend to die a lot. So I want to get the exact same thing that we got. But I'm going to go on and head back to my base. If you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, it's been Super Turtle. And I hope you had a fantastic time watching that time lapse and seeing what's going on in the server. I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you so much. Check out the other members on the server. Peace out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.